Well, guess what? This is a wisteria. Someone neglected. That's nothing unusual around here. Uh, I was gonna see if this should be saved or maybe made into a landscape material. But anyway, I'm gonna start working on this. Uh, today is the second day in December. Maybe a little early, but it's okay. Uh, wisterias are tough. As usual, I don't want to strain my back, so I use my engine hoist and got it onto this, this cart. Um, the roots were coming out of the bottom, so I think I'm just going to take the reciprocating saw and just cut it. See the root that's coming out the drain hole? Well, I cut off a bunch before, and when it's like that, it's actually no use sitting there trying to get it out of the can. So I'm just going to cut off uh, probably about a third of the can and speed things along. Well, that was easy. So now I'll be able to pop this out. And you know this bottom part? I'm thinking just leaving it like that and I bet you something will sprout out. Um, I could spend some time on it, but uh, I'm just going to leave it out there uh, like that, just the way it is, and it should sprout by spring. Sure is a tangled mess. I'll go ahead and clean it up, and then we'll probably have to make some decisions. But there's just a lot of junk in there, so I'm just going to clean it up first. Well, take a look at this. Oh my gosh, this has a, a really nice root flare down there. Well, one good thing about neglected plants, it's always a surprise what might be down in here. So I'm gonna get started. And well, first of all, I'm going to clean up around the base. And then trim some of the, the top. And when I get done, I'll show it to you. This is really getting impressive looking. The root flare is something else. Anyway, I'm going to keep cleaning and see what uh, transpires. Okay, I got it this far. Quite a change looking back and now. Well, what do I expect this coming year? I not looking to uh, see if it flowers. Uh, when you do something this drastic, uh, the chance of it, you know, blooming heavily is uh, very slim. But if you treat this correctly next summer, then the following year it should bloom very well. Uh, that's kind of the uh, rewards of a wisteria. It depends on what you did the year before. So this year I'm doing this extreme. I uh, cut off more than half of the root ball, tilted it on its side, and pruned the heck out of the top also. Uh, so that uh, if it does bloom, I'd be more happily surprised than uh, expecting it. So anyway, Okay, taking a close look, I'm pretty sure this was growing wild, neglected for a few years, but I think I've been working on it on and off for, uh, well, a raw material will not look like this. You see the big, nice root flare and then the multiples that come up, uh, and the branches more or less have good taper. 
this tall one here it did lose a little bit up on the top part but if I next year cut it to this lower branch right here I'll get a nice taper and movement so this is not finished it was a good find uh, the neglected materials but I don't think it's raw I'm pretty sure that somewhere I worked on it before so anyway uh, hopefully that you'll get to see this again but the chance of this wisteria blooming this coming spring or in the winter is probably somewhat slim they usually they will not die they're a very hardy plant so it will not die but you'll probably show me it's just pleasure by not blooming so I'm thinking in three two to three years uh, this should be a great bonsai specimen so this is the wisteria look at that trunk you know sometimes it's hard to get the scale of these things well the roof flare where it meets the ground is between six and seven inches so it's quite big see how big the root flare is well all the sucker growth that was down here that I cut off it helped to fatten this area so I had a lot of sacrificed branches to make this uh, look fantastic right here so all we need now is the bloom okay as we take a look one more time as it spins around this is Hero saying goodbye I'll see you again real soon and hopefully this will be something that we could take a look at uh, next year but I see the full potential of this wisteria in about two to three years so anyway um, if it's still here you'll get to see it again but if you don't then well it's gone uh, you know this was kind of neglected